Okay, so in solving multi-step equations, this is where we really use our don't call me after midnight. So if you watch the videos of the review stuff last week, D is for distribute, C is for combine like terms, M is move variables to one side of the equal sign, A is add or subtract, and then M multiply or divide. So in example one, when we have don't call me after midnight, there are no parentheses that we need to distribute. However, if we draw a line down the equal sign, we do have like terms that we could combine. So nothing changing on the left side. That negative 14 is still going to stay right here. But I'm going to take 7 C's and subtract 2 C's from it. So 7 minus 2 is 5 C's total. So I've done the combining. Next, I notice I have C's on both sides. So I will need to move C's to the same side of the equal sign. So to do that, I will subtract 5C from both sides. Remember, you're not wrong if you move 8. I just don't want to have negatives. So I'm going to move the smaller one, and 5 is smaller than 8. So 8C's minus 5C's is 3C's. We do exactly what it shows. And then 5C minus 5C cancels. Next, I'm going to add or subtract. So from C, I'm going to move 1 to the other side. Remember, every time we change sides, we're doing the opposite. So 1 minus 1 cancels here. Negative 14 minus 1, you owe me $14. You owe me another dollar. So we put them together for more negatives. And we get negative 15. And then last step is to divide both sides by 3. So C is negative 5. Remember when we did the, the part uh, last week, we talked about how you can plug in your answer and compare both sides. So these two things should give you the same answer when you plug it in to check. Problem 2, again with that don't call me after midnight. First is D for distribute. This time I do have parentheses, so I will need to distribute to both sides. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times V is 3V. And then if I don't touch it, I rewrite it. Next, I combine my like terms on the same sides of the equal sign. Notice this V over here is also a V, but it is not on the same side as the 3V and the negative 4V, so I'm not going to touch it for now. So when you combine, they have to be on the same side. When you combine, you do exactly what they say. So 3 minus 4 is a negative 1V. Sorry. Next, I have V's on both sides, so I will need to move V's to the same side. I don't want the negatives, so I'm going to add one V to both sides. Oops, sorry, two V's. Next, on the same side as V is a 16, so I'm going to move that to the opposite side. So 6 minus 16 is negative 10. And then last step is divide both sides by 2. So V is negative 5. And again, I would plug that into both sides to see if I get the same thing. So I'll show you that one because that's the last thing we have. Okay, so this would be negative 9 plus 20, which is 11. And then these two sides are equal, so negative 5 is my answer.